Hi everyone, so a few of you requested this, so here it is, Hair Care 101. I thought I would keep the format quite similar to my Brow 101 video, so I'll pop a link to that here if you haven't checked that one out already. So we're going to take a walk down hair memory lane before showing you my favourite products I'm currently using, and also showing you how I do my three favourite styles, including this curly one, they're all super easy, you know me, nothing too crazy here, so stay tuned to the end for that. I've shown you the super hairy baby picture before, but if you're new around here, here it is. I was born with a lot of hair. This is me at three months old. I basically was wearing a wig. But as soon as I would sit still enough in a hairdresser's chair, things went short. I have vivid memories of my mum sitting there telling the hairdresser to cut my hair shorter and shorter and shorter. And I remember one time saying afterwards, mum, I look like a boy. But as you can see, things were quite short when my mum was in control of my haircuts. But when I got a bit older and had a bit more say, I just let my hair grow. I was all about the length. This picture was taken when I was 18 and it was kind of mid-length by then, but then when I went to uni, I started to resemble a hairy McClary and it just it just kept growing. I was a poor student and I just prioritised Space NK hauls over haircuts and books for that matter. <laughs> I did have a fringe for a very short while but I just couldn't handle the maintenance of it, the whole having to wash a fringe every day which I had to do with mine. No, that, that was grown out pretty quickly. Around two years ago I did dabble with permanent hair colour for the first time and I actually quite liked it. I never thought hair on my head would be that shade of kind of blondy, caramelly, didn't even know it was possible. Really liked the finish of it but it only lasted a few months because I was ready for a chop. I did have it cut from a very long length to kind of mid-length when I had the ombre, but I was ready for some seriously short hair, and I think this picture was taken probably around late last year, and it's easily the happiest I have ever been with a haircut. I was just ready, I was like, I'm a woman now, I no longer go clubbing and whip my hair back and forth, I'm ready for the short hair phase of my life, and I really, really like it, and I definitely will be going to get my hair cut again soon like that. I just haven't managed to squeeze it in my diary yet, but it's happening. But for now, things are kind of mid-length and I quite like it. I found a good group of hair products that are just doing their thing. They're keeping my hair nice and nourished, making it look quite texturised with a bit of volume. So... Let's do this, hair care routine. If you watched some of my older hair care routine videos on here, then you will know that I was a big fan of the Head & Shoulders Citrus Fresh Shampoo. Loved that stuff. <laughs> and for the first time since Head & Shoulders launched 50 years ago, they have just come out with a range that is designed to create thicker, fuller hair, and I'm all over that. So I have been using their Thick & Strong Shampoo and their Thick & Strong Conditioner in the shower once every two days. I'm on a kind of two day hair washing cycle. Not only do they smell incredible, just like the Citrus Fresh formula did, this makes my hair feel very super super clean and you know I love that. I find that using these two together just gives my hair a little bit more oomph, especially at the root and I really notice it after blow drying. You just thought Head & Shoulders was all about dandruff but no no, they cater for other things too and there are a few other shampoos that I use like the Bumble and Bumble Sunday one but that's more as one off when I have left my hair way too long between washes. <laughs> and the thing I use post hair wash after I've given my hair a little towel dry again comes from Head & Shoulders and it's also from their Thick & Strong collection and this is the extra thickening treatment. And this is like a spray that you put into the roots of your hair, massage it in and it just makes things look much more fuller and thick and it contains something called a triple active complex which basically means that not only does it give your hair that instant kind of volume after prolonged use, you're going to get some lasting hair thickening benefits too which is fab. It actually feels quite cooling when you apply it, which I really like, and I just find that after blow drying I can really notice a difference in the roots. They've just got a little bit more lift, they're looking a little bit more beefier, and I have a lot of thickness in the bottom of my hair, so I need that boost at the top to even it all out. <laughs> So with the roots of my hair seen too, I do like to pop something through the bottoms as well just to protect and also kind of nourish the hair and I have found this recently and I am in love with it. It's from Bumble and Bumble and it's their BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Heat and UV Protective Primer. It is very similar to the Unite 7 Seconds Detangling Spray but obviously just a bit easier to find nationwide. Not only do I like it because the packaging is super cute, I just find that my hair is much easier to brush after washing with that on the ends and also I feel a bit less guilty when I crack my straighteners out. 
And it wouldn't be a Vivian Does Makeup Hair Care 101 video without a mention of the Obey Dry Texturising Spray. You know this had to be in here. I have gone through countless bottles of this because it is just incredible stuff. I've got it in my hair now. For me, this works almost as a hairspray. It really sets things in place, but it also just gives hair that matte, not too clean, second day hair, but in a good way, texture. In terms of brushes and accessories, I've got a few, but my favorite one of all has to be the wet brush. Thank you, Lily, for introducing me to this because before I was using the Tangle Teaser and that's good but this is better. I don't know what it is about it, it just is incredible. If you have quite tangly hair after you come out the shower you just put this through and it just glides through beautifully. I have no idea where I got this comb from but it's very good. I do like a comb just so I can sort out my parting. My favourite hair bands are from a brand which I can't pronounce, I will put it here but they are awesome they don't snag my hair at all they never feel pulling or tugging on my hair i love them and another thing that i get quite a lot of use out of are from the same brand and they're like twist up pins i'll show you how i use these in a bit and then for tools i have my trusty ghgs i think i've had these for about six years they are great i can do everything with these straighten my hair wave my hair i'll show you that later curl my hair i'll show you that later as well it's the only thing that I use. I try buying waving wands and curling tongs and all that kind of jazz. And I always just come back to this. I find this is just the easiest way to do basically anything with your hair. And for blow drying, I use this hair dryer. It's from Babyliss and it's from their boutique range, but I can't remember the exact model number, so I will pop it below. It is small, but don't be fooled. This thing packs a serious punch. It dries my hair so fast and it's quite small, so I really like that for traveling. Right, now on to styling and I'm going to show you my top three most worn, ridiculously easy, barely any tools needed styles. Roll the cheesy voice over. So first off we have the pineapple, one of my personal favourites and I'm just starting off with freshly washed hair. Then I'm spritzing in some of the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Primer which I just find really helps to detangle and makes brushing through with the wet brush so much easier. I'm going to section off some bits around the front of my head where I'm most lacking in volume and I'm just going to spray in some of the Head & Shoulders Extra Thickening Treatment, massage it in and then move on to the next section and I just do this in any parts of my hair where I feel that I need that extra oomph. pretty carefree there's not much technique that goes on here I just use it on a high setting and then just run my fingers through my hair while I'm drying it roughly towards the end I do give it a little comb through though just to make sure there's no knots in it and this is what we're going to work with for our pineapple this one I like to call the emergency pineapple because it's very easy to do you just scoop all of your hair up on top of your head in a ponytail like fashion and then you just twist it and almost twist it back on itself and then secure it with a hairband, I normally go over it twice. Easy peasy, done. The other way that I like to do it is with the twist pins, so it's exactly the same technique, scooping all the hair up, twisting it round back on itself. But then, instead of using a hairband, I use the twist pins, and for my hair I use two. I normally put one in on the left hand side, one in on the right hand side, and somehow it secures itself. It's actually quite incredible. Right, on to the waves, which is my summer favourite, and we're just going to start with either second day hair or freshly washed hair here, it doesn't really matter. So I normally section the hair into three parts, so I'm just sectioning off the bottom here and then popping the rest on top of my head in a lovely little bun. So I just split it into two and bring it around the front because it's just easier to work with, and then I split each section into around three further sections, and I'm just smoothing that out to make sure there's no knots in it. Then I'm taking my straighteners, starting at the top of the hair, and I'm just kind of pulling the hair over it in opposite directions. It's a bit of a weird one to explain, so I'm quite happy you're seeing the visuals here. And it just leaves a kind of kinky, slightly crimped look in the hair that I love. Especially when it's broken up, it just looks like very relaxed, tasseled beach babe waves. Section is fully done I just secure that back and then let down the second section and just repeat on that so just doing this weird kinky straightener move all over now I'm working on the top layer just doing exactly the same because I have a side parting on the left hand side I do like to pop that final section into two bits just makes it a little easier to manage waving up the final bit and that is the finished look. Finally, the 
for curls and I get a lot of questions about how I curl my hair and it's always with straighteners, it's the easiest thing ever and I'm just starting by combing through my hair making sure there's no knots in it. Then the technique is much the same as when I wave it so I'm just taking that top section up, leaving that bottom section down, splitting it into two and pulling it round the front, splitting that further into three sections and then I just get to work with the straighteners and this again is a bit of a weird manoeuvre, I pull the hair round the straighteners and I'm kind of twisting the straighteners and somehow you end up with this curl, I'll give you a little close up here so you can see it in more detail. But I'm just working the straighteners round, kind of slightly rotating them and pulling the hair through. it works and now I'm just repeating that all over my head letting all the different sections down it might look like it takes a while but I can actually do this in around 10 minutes now just doing the final bit and then I just let it all down run my fingers through it a bit to kind of beef it out and that is it on Hair Care 101. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on Sunday with a brand new one. Bye.